my little party animals. Hip Hip Renee here today, ready to celebrate the 20th anniversary of The Sims. That's right, it is the 20th anniversary. The Sims has been out for 20 whole years. That's like most of my life, certainly not all of it, but a significant portion of my life. I have been playing The Sims and I'm just, I'm so excited and happy that this franchise is still alive, it's still doing well, it's still bringing in new players, old players are coming back to it, everybody remembers this game. We all have crazy fond memories of all the ridiculous things that we did in The Sims, from drowning people in pools, to being robbed by burglars, to, you know, just, Everything and anything Sims related has just always been a part of my life and I am so happy and glad that at this point in my life, you know, where I am an adult, I'm, you know, perfectly situated and comfortable in my life, I am still able to play this game and not only am I able to play this game, I'm able to share it with other people, which is just the coolest thing to me. When I started playing The Sims at 12 years old, never, ever, ever in my life did I think, you know, someday I'm gonna be making videos and I'm gonna be building things in The Sims and people are gonna watch it and people are going to enjoy it and other people are going to be able to connect with me over this game. Never thought that was possible. I was 12 years old when the first Sims game came out. YouTube was not even, a thought in somebody's head at that point, you know? It was just, it was the coolest thing, and it's still the coolest thing that this game is still so popular and so loved by so many people. So in celebration of The Sims 20th anniversary, I had to do something classic. Now I've seen quite a few people doing the newbie house, which of course we all know from the first game. People have been doing that mansion, that crazy mansion that, you know, that was always your end goal is to get your Sims into that mansion. Whether you ended up cheating your money to get there or you actually made your Sims work for it. I wanted to do my personal favorite house from the original Sims, and that is Six Sim Lane. Now this is one of the empty lots that you get to start with when you first play the game, and there is a character, The Bachelor, I can't remember his first name unfortunately, but I always put The Bachelor in this particular lot. It was just super cheap, it was a really easy place to start off in, and it just, it really worked. Looking back on it, I cannot believe how absolutely sparse this house was. I was looking at all sorts of, you know, different pictures of the original house and the original furnishings and everything like that, and I was like, wow, there's no living room in here. It's literally just a lamp. There's no stove, there's no microwave, there's just a fridge, there's a sink, there's a bed. Like, this is like bare bones as far as a house is concerned. So I thought this would be really fun to try and recreate as best I could. Obviously we don't have all of the same items, the same swatches from the original game, so I did have to get a little creative in a few different spots, but I do think that it turned out pretty darn similar to the original house, and I had a lot of fun building this. It was a nice quick one because of course, there's no furniture in here, so it didn't take me very long. Um, I am going to be remodeling this house and, you know, updating it for The Sims 4, so definitely look forward to that coming to my channel very, very soon. I want to hear in the comments about your favorite Sims memory. What is your first Sims memory? What is your favorite Sims memory? What is it that you love most about The Sims? I want to hear about that. I cannot wait to hear what you know, what brought everybody else into this fabulous game and this amazing community. I am just, I, I can't explain how excited I am to be able to continue playing The Sims and to share my love of The Sims with other people. That being said, I did want to touch very quickly upon what happened yesterday. So yesterday, of course, was the actual 20th birthday of The Sims, and they gave us, of course, a free update. Now the free update was not quite what everybody was expecting, not that we should have been expecting anything, let's be real. It's a game, it's very cool that it's been out for 20 years, but they don't owe us anything. The Sims in EA do not owe us anything. 
that being said, the gift that we did get is just so absurd and ridiculous that we got basically a recolor with an added roof onto a hot tub that we already got with uh, Perfect Patio, I believe is the pack that it came in. So this was a huge thing on Twitter yesterday. It was all over the place. People are flipping out about it. It was absolutely cracking me up. I am totally cool with getting free items. I don't use the hot tubs. I likely will not be using this item, but thank you to The Sims for getting it to us anyway. That being said, I thought it was really funny that everybody was like, oh my god, I can't believe that all we got was this stupid hot tub. Like, you've got to be kidding me. So if you guys head to my Teespring store, you can find the link in the description box down below. You can get your very own Sims shirt from my Teespring that says, I played The Sims for 20 years and all I got was this stupid hot tub. I thought it was hilarious. I wanted to capitalize on this and, you know, make it kind of funny. I'm not mad about it. I just, I think it's funny and I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm excited that the game's been around for 20 years. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. As always, I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Happy 20th birthday, Sims, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.